Welcome to English Unlocked, the podcast that helps non-native English speakers improve their language skills and learn more about English speaking cultures. I'm your host, Paola, and I'm excited to be here with you today for our very first episode. In this podcast, we'll be exploring a wide range of topics related to English as a lingua franca, from pronunciation and vocabulary to grammar and cultural aspects. Our main goal is to help you become more confident and effective communicators in English. Whether you're studying for academic or professional purposes or simply interested in learning a new language. Today, in our first episode, I want to focus on some expressions that will come in handy when you want to express your opinion. It's important to be able to express yourself clearly and confidently, especially when you're in a discussion or debate. Here we have some expressions you can use. In my view, in my opinion, from my perspective, as far as I'm concerned, it seems to me that, I'm of the opinion that, I'd like to point out that, these expressions can be used in a variety of contexts, whether you're expressing your opinion in a meeting, a classroom discussion, or a casual conversation with friends. When using these expressions, it's important to speak with confidence and clarity. This will help you to get your point across effectively and assertively. Let's look at an example. Now, imagine you're in a classroom discussion with your classmates, and the topic is whether or not students should be allowed to use cell phones in class. You have some thoughts on the topic, but you're not sure how to express them. Here is how you could use one of the expressions we've covered. I think cell phones should be allowed in class, as they can be useful for educational purposes. From my perspective, I believe that cell phones can also be a distraction, and it's important to have clear guidelines on their use in the classroom. This response shows that you have a different perspective on the topic and you're able to express your opinion in a clear and assertive way. Now, think of this. You're having a casual conversation with your friend about a movie you both recently watched. Your friend loved the movie, but you have a different opinion. Here is how you could use another expression we've learned today. I think that the movie was amazing. The acting was incredible. It seems to me that the plot was weak and the pacing was slow. I didn't enjoy it as much as you did. This response shows that you have a different perspective on the movie and you're able to express your opinion in a polite and respectful way. Now, let's move on to the last example. You're in a group discussion about a controversial topic, such as climate change. There are different opinions being expressed and you want to share your thoughts. Here's how you could use one of the expressions we've covered. I don't believe that humans are responsible for climate change. It's just a natural phenomenon. I like to point out that the overwhelming scientific consensus supports the idea that human activity is the primary cause of climate change. In my opinion, we need to take immediate action to address this global issue. The last response that you just heard shows that you have a strong opinion on the topic and that you are able to express it using a clear and assertive tone. So that's it for today's episode of English Unlocked. I hope you found these tips and expressions helpful. Remember, Practice makes progress, so keep practicing and unlocking the secrets of the English language. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next episode. English Unlocked is produced and edited by Tarijas CVA Library Team and hosted by Paula Ortega. For more information about our podcast and to access additional resources, visit our social media sites on Facebook and Instagram.